quantitative determination of uric acid in sample of blood plasma. There are two possible ways to determine the uric acid which is performed in our biochem lab. One method is a chemical method and the other method is enzymatic method. We're going to start with a, a chemical method since it needs more time to perform and then we're going to switch back to the enzymatic method. So, first we're going to take one test tube and we need to pipe it 5 milliliters of blood plasma sample to it. Now we need to pipette 5 milliliters of TCA, 3-chlorosatic acid, to the test tube in order to precipitate the proteins from the blood plasma sample. Mix the test tube. Notice the formation of massive precipitate of blood plasma proteins. And filtrate to another test tube using the funnel and filter paper. While we are waiting to obtain the filtrate, we can perform the enzymatic reaction. For this purpose, we are going to need three test tubes and we are going to mark them as T for test, S for standard, and B for blend. We need to pipette 50 microliters of blood plasma to T test tube. Now we need to pipette standard solution of uric acid, 50 microliters, to standard. And water, 50 microliters, to blend. Now we need to pipette the working reagent, which is provided by the commercial producer of the kit. Uh, that is going to be 2.5 milliliters to each test tube.
incubate for a couple of minutes and read the absorbances. So after a couple of minutes, notice the formation of pale pink color of the final complex to be measured. The working wavelength is going to be adjusted to 540. So this is it. And now the procedure is to take the kivat, pour the blank solution, and adjust the instrument to zero. Take the T test tube and pour the solution to the kivette and read the absorbance. Take the S tube and again read the absorbance. Using the equation provided in the manual, calculate the concentration of uric acid in blood plasma sample. Now we can switch back to our chemical method to see whether the filtration process is completed. Yes. And now we can do the following procedure. We're going to take three test tubes and mark them as T, S for standard, and B for blank. Now we need to pipette two and a half milliliters of obtained filtrate to the T test tube. Now we need to prepare 1.25 milliliters of standard uric acid solution to the standard test tube. Five milliliters of water to blend. Now we need to to pipette. 0.5 milliliters of sodium phosphovolframate solution to each test tube. Now we need to provide the basic medium for the reaction, which is going to, to be an immediate one by adding the sodium 
carbonate saturated solution. We're going to pipe it 6.25 milliliters to the tea test tube. And notice the formation, immediate formation of blue colored complex. To standard test tube, we need to pipette 7.5 milliliters of sodium bicarbonate solution. And the same volume seven point five mls to the blank solution. Absorbances should be read at 600 or 710 nanometers. After adjusting the wavelength, we're going to pour the blank solution. And adjust the instrument to zero. Remove the blank solution, take the test solution, and read the absorbance. Finally, take the standard solution, and read the absorbance. According to the equation provided in the manual, calculate the concentration of uric acid of your sample.